Okay, picking a keyboard player. How to pick a keyboard player. Again, it goes back to heart and skill. Do they have a good heart? Is their heart right? Are they teachable? How's their, what's their personality? Are they going to fit in with the group? Or are they sort of pretty out there? And do they have a confrontational personality and all this? It's kind of not worth it. Again, it's easier to, to add to a group than it is to undo a group. So go slow when you're adding to a team. But, you know, a lot of keyboardists, they come from the tradition of just where they read everything. And so eventually they have to transition into the modern praise and worship is more learning to read a chord chart, which is a chord in this hand and bass in this hand. Now, if they're playing with a worship team and you have a bass player, the left hand is not as important. Sometimes I'll have them just for practice to sit on their left hand, literally, and just get used to just playing, especially if you have a second keyboard player and maybe they're just going to play strings or pads. A pad, that, that is a reference to sort of a string sound. Um, sometimes you'll hear that and you'll say, hey, how about if you just play a pad there? A pad is sort of a, it's not always strings. It can be sort of an analog sound, but it's more of that mm, with not much of an attack, you know, uh, as opposed to a plain piano that has an attack to it, you know, gang, 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 or a pad is more like, so especially those folks I don't want it to be too thick because if you have a bass player he's covering this this range and then you have a guitar player he's here and the piano player is playing here so maybe get another second keyboard player up here playing the strings so you don't want everybody playing all the stuff everybody needs to find their little spot and that's what makes music it kind of keep from getting too crowded and too busy so what do I look for in a keyboard player? So are somebody that can play in time to make those changes, you know? A lot of uh, worship uh, piano playing is basically that, um, you know, worship ballad, pop ballad, you know, I'm gonna say like Michael W. Smith sort of for the last 10 years, 15 years, sort of that dun, 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 dun. Da, one, two, quarter note feel where you're playing the chord, or you, sometimes you can bed and bed and bed and bed and bed. Again, cold play comes to mind. Listening, listening to a, uh, a little cold play, you kind of get that. You know, that they kind of harken back to some of the Beatle, you know, sort of the Hey Judes and the Let It Be's and that, that that sort of quarter note feel. It's very common. So I'm looking for a person that can just do that. I'm not looking for somebody that's going to get real busy and do all this fancy stuff. I'm looking for a person that just can just kind of play their part. And then every once in a while, man, they kind of do their riff or they do their little fill and it's like, that's just right. But see, if everybody's just kind of playing confident in time, but they're kind of sticking to their thing, man, that's what just makes it all come together and feel solid. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. So what I'm looking for in a keyboard player, look, making sure if it's a digital keyboard, at least it's in tune. If it's, in, if it's a, uh, like an acoustic piano, that thing needs to be tuned a lot. Otherwise, it's just going to sound out. So, uh, but most of the time, people are using digital pianos these days. Um, that's it for now. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for.